Steak and chips is an absolute classic and one that everyone should know how to make and I'm gonna make one, show you how to do it and I'm gonna give you a recipe for a Bernays sauce. All brilliant things to taste, to eat, to try, to cook. Now we're gonna kick it off by getting some chips in the oven. I've chopped up my chips, I've peeled them, and now we're gonna stick them into a roasting tray. I have my oven preheated at 200 degrees Celsius. Gonna give them a quick drizzle of oil. We're gonna season it up with some sea salt and black pepper. And then just get your hands in there and give them a good toss. This is the easiest way you can make your chips at home. Baked in the oven, they are so good and they are so tasty. So, into the oven, these are gonna cook off for about 40 minutes, just until they're nice, golden, and crispy. My chips are in the oven, and while they're in the oven, we're gonna make up a very simple béarnaise sauce. If you have never made this before, I don't want you to be put off, stick with me. In this little saucepan, I've made a reduction of white wine vinegar, a little bit of white wine, some shallots, and some mixed herbs. I've got tarragon and a little bit of parsley. Now, it might not look like much in there, but what we're gonna do is strain this off, and you'll be left with this tiny little bit of liquid but it is that tiny little bit of liquid which gives all the flavor in here. And into this mixture, we're now going in with an egg yolk. On with the mixer, and now add two teaspoons of warm water. That should do me. Give it a quick mix up. Okay, we've got a frothy, egg yolky, sort of vinegary mixture. So now, we're gonna drizzle in some butter. This is melted butter, still a little bit warm, so I'm gonna mix as I go, and you just wanna trickle in a tiny bit at a time. As you do this, you'll start to see it thickening up. Okay, slowly but surely, adding that butter has worked its way into this magical bayonet sauce. But before we finish it off, we need some chopped tarragon. Transfer this out. Beautiful, rich, and buttery with all that lovely Kerrygold Irish butter. And now, just to finish it off, we're gonna mix through some of that chopped tarragon. A little stir of the tarragon through there. I'm gonna also add in a pinch of cayenne pepper for a last bit of spiciness. We've got some white pepper going in here. And finally, mix it through. Our bayonet sauce is made, our chips are in the oven, now we need to talk about steaks. I've got some beautiful thick sirloin steaks here, really, really tasty stuff, but you need to make sure you get a nice thick cut on your steaks. And all I'm gonna do just before they hit the pan is season them with a bit of sea salt and black pepper. Little drizzle of oil, some black pepper, and now you just need to give it all a good massage and make sure it's nicely coated. The interesting thing when you're cooking off steaks is that I normally put the oil on the meat rather than on the pan and then you don't have too much sizzle but you get all that non-stick action which is essential so that you get beautifully fried steaks. These steaks are going to cook for two to three minutes either side but if you want to be extra fancy when you've put them down crossways on a griddle pan like this if you just twist it around while it's still cooking on one side and switch it over to the other side, you should be left with lovely cross-patterned griddle pan marks. The smell in this kitchen is incredible right now and look how juicy and beautiful those steaks look. So I'm gonna take them off at this point. I'm gonna put them on a little plate and we're gonna rest them. Resting your steaks after they've come off that pan allows them to go from this kind of moment to a kind of moment. And that's really important for your steaks. So turn off the heat, get on some tin foil, and look how beautiful they look. Juicy and gorgeous. Sorry, I, I get a bit excited when I see steak cooked like this. Stick them under some tin foil, and I know it feels like you're going to allow your steak to go cold, but do this because it's going to retain the heat, but it's going to allow your steak to rest. So while that's resting, I'm going to grab my chips out of the oven and serve up my bayonets. And that, my friends, is steak and chips. Done right, delicious. And now, you can't watch this without me trying some. So I'm gonna take some of this one, I'm gonna slice it up, just get a nice bit of sliver of steak, beautifully cooked, still nice and tender. I'm gonna dip that straight into that bayonet sauce. There is nothing better in the world then beautifully cooked steak, a good tangy but lusciously creamy bayonet sauce, and you've got it, you've got to have a chip with it. Mm. Really simple to make, so tasty. If you want the recipe for this delicious steak and chips, check it out in the box below over on my website. 
Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and of course, comment if you like my steak and chips, and I will see you soon. Happy cooking, my friends!